In this section, we'll look at how to do mining using the GET software and the other functionality of GET as well. I hope you have downloaded this GET and uh, installed it in your system. To check if the installation is proper, we'll just do GET hyphen hyphen help right just like we did for uh, the other program truffle etc right we'll do get hyphen hyphen help inside the terminal if you are using a mac or linux and inside your command prompt if you are using a windows based machine okay so once you do this you're gonna get all the uh, possible commands version usage etc right and at the end it will say to uh, the go ethereum authors right so that is how you get into get and check if it has been uh, installed properly so here you can see that there are multiple things that you can do inside ethereum like minor options you can do minor dot threads notify gas price gas target and then you can see network options uh, however you want to connect with the other networks performance tuning accounts transaction pools you can see transaction pool how many transactions are there etc right and you can see light clients and test nets if you want to connect to right and multiple other things right so there are multiple things called as APIs in uh, GET, right? Uh, personal APIs, ETH APIs, debug API, transaction pool API, minor API, etc. Right? So we'll not be able to look at all of these because uh, for that you might have to download the entire Ethereum full node into your uh, net into your uh, particular system, right? Uh, that is about 750 GB in size. I myself do not have that much space, right? So we'll actually create a private node and start mining that. And it's the same process followed for the main ethereum network also right now to get into this ethereum console right we will give command called as get console right but remember that as soon as you start get console it is going to start downloading the mainnet blockchain because that is the uh, you know default that it is going to connect to so what i'm going to do is add another argument here to tell my system that please don't connect with my peers okay uh, please don't connect with my peers i am planning to build this as a local blockchain and not you know connect with peers etc so for this i can give no discover very important to give this otherwise it is going to start uh, downloading your entire ethereum which you can definitely do if you want to become a full node right why not so just give get console uh, where is that no discover and you can see all of these things happen initializing the chain configuration disk storage and uh, all of these things you can go through each and one uh, everything so that you understand or revise your basic concepts that you read in foundations right so this is the get javascript console here you can give commands and get will uh, start working accordingly right now what i have to do is to start mining right you have to say miner dot start okay Miner is the API and start is the command given under mining, right, to start with it. And within brackets, you will give the number of threads. So um, uh, my system has eight CPU threads, okay. So within the bracket, you will say how much CPU load can this mining process take, okay. If you give the maximum, then you will not be able to do any other uh, programs in your system at all. The entire CPU will go into the mining process itself, right. As we know, mining process takes a lot of CPU power right it's going to be difficult so i am giving one the minimum right it is going to throw an error but we'll go step by step to understand what needs to be done to stop the error okay so once you click on minor dot start one right okay i already have an account that's why <laughs> that's okay no problem so i'll just exit this okay uh, again get into get console hyphen hyphen no discover you might not uh, start working on this because uh, there's, there's something that I missed out, you know, I created a, already an account uh, previously when I wanted to create it. So one thing we need is that if you're a miner, right, you will create blocks, you will mine blocks. For that mining, you are going to get a block reward, right, also transaction fee reward. So whenever you are doing mining, right, so you need the uh, reward to come into some account, right. So get accepts, expects you to have an account already, only then you can start mining the pro, uh, process itself, right. So first to create an account, you will say personal, right, personal, personal is another API given by get dot, 
new account okay personal dot new account is the command if you give this it's going to ask for a passphrase give me any passphrase uh, this you need to remember because this is a passphrase that encrypts your private key and all okay so with that my new key has gen has been generated which means my how do you say uh, account has been created right and it is stored in users ragu library ethereum key store utc this place right let me show you the key file also so we, it's uh, good for us to remember right this key file if you remember we have seen that in um what do you say in in our wallets right uh, the desktop uh, wallets will create a key file within your desktop itself that way right so here where do i need to go is ragu library ethereum right so let me see where my library is library yeah library and then go to ethereum and then go to key store and here it is so today at 108 pm i have created one 102 pm i have created one right so if you open this using let's say vs code we'll try if it shows something to us right yeah this is my key store file so which is my private key itself right this is encrypted format uh, encrypted using our uh, passphrase which we gave right this is my address ethereum address and then has crypto uh, my uh, my this thing private key has been encrypted into a cipher and it has been stored here right this is the cipher text yeah cipher parameters and a lot of things are available in this key store so this is how my get software creates an account and stores my private key okay if i want to import this private key uh, so i need to import the account in this uh, place so if you want to look at all the accounts that you have you can say personal dot accounts right right or get accounts i'm not sure i think it is get accounts get accounts right okay we don't have that also what is the personal uh, api okay i think this will be personal dot list accounts not get accounts okay so if you do that oh my god something is a uh, problem okay it is not working is, let's say yet dot accounts it is another this thing okay hmm something is a problem here okay see it's personal dot list accounts without bracket <laughs> such a small problem it dot accounts also will work actually like this okay so personal dot list accounts already i had one account and i created a new one right so that's how you use personal dot list accounts here okay so once you create an account you are good to start the mining process okay so let's also look at uh, miner dot stats right first it's undefined okay minor dot right minor dot status also we can check that is also not there right so now nothing is going on uh, in the back end right so it will give undefined only yeah now if i say minor dot start of one right it's going to be slow but it's okay we'll see what happens so now it says minor dot start i've done so mining process is started in my system okay it's not going to get the actual ethereum mainnet transactions and all anyway so it is saying updated mining threads correct transaction pool is updated price should be this much yeah or uh, transaction pool concept and everything if you remember from foundations that is how it works committing new mining work and it is going to take some time to uh, create the first block and things like that okay as you know blocks can be created without any transactions also right so this is uh, continue creating okay and that's how you start with the mining process so let me say minor dot stop okay this minor dot stop will stop the process i'll again say minor dot start giving four threads i want it to be a bit faster okay so give this minor dot start of four and uh, expect it to create some blocks for us hopefully number one the seal hash so this seal hash is the block hash that has been created and things like that okay so minor dot start why is it not uh, starting the new work it will take time of course i have seen this take like five ten minutes also sometimes right let's see how it goes on okay 
probably I'll pause the uh, video so that uh, once it starts, I'll get back. We don't, you don't need to keep watching the screen till it comes back, right? Okay, looks like there is some issue even after uh, waiting for a long time and updating the threads also. I then gave minor dot start of 4, minor dot start of 8, minor start of 16. Even after getting 16 threads, it's not uh, starting the mining work. Probably there is some problem with uh, uh, you know, creating this transaction pool and whatever. You know, network might be an issue. My system is running a lot of applications now, right? I'll update this video once I uh, get it working, right? Uh, there will be an update for sure, right? So now you get a clear idea about how to download this software or called as get, how to become a full node, how to start mining, right? By this you understand that mining as we saw in foundations is not a very difficult job to do, right? Even though it is very complex and a lot of calculations is required, it is not something done manually by the miner. So if I want to become a miner, I just buy an ASIC, set it up with the system and go inside the get console, say miner.start. And once I do that, I can just leave the system, it will take care of everything, De getting transactions from the transaction pool, validating, adding into the block, uh, finding the nonce to, uh, you know, find the hash value which shares the condition and things like that, right. So that is all an automated process and that is how mining is done both in Bitcoin and in Ethereum, right. Uh, Ethereum uses something called as ETH hash and Bitcoin uses the normal hash and things like that, right. The mining process in ethereum is called as dag so dag which is directed acyclic graph right so that is how ethereum differs from bitcoin in a few places in mining but otherwise the kind of logic that mining works with is the same thing right so once you are done if you want to stop it you can say miner dot stop and this will stop the process correct so i understand no process is running now uh, let me check what is the issue with that okay with that, we'll complete this section and we'll go into the future of Ethereum in the next section. See you there.